Hello, welcome to Reliant Technology. This short video will explain how to create an iGroup for iSCSI. So let's begin. If we look at the NetApp On Command System Manager, we have a LUN that we have created with an underscore i. We will actually create an iGroup that will actually map to this LUN. And as you can see, there is we, are, we will create one called Reliant IG underscore I. We created an underscore F for fiber channel in the previous video. So we will start out by typing I group, create. We're going to use a dash I for iSCSI. Then we're going to use a lowercase t for type. In this instance, we are going to use VMware. There are other types that you can use, such as AIX, Linux, or Windows, but in this instance we are using VMware. We are then going to specify the name for this iGroup. We will actually create an iGroup called Reliant IG underscore I for iSCSI. And then we are going to specify the iSCSI IQN identifier. I'm going to go ahead and paste it in here so I don't have to type it all out. Now we are ready to create our I group, so we will hit enter. If we go back to the on command system manager and do a refresh, you will see that now an I group named Reliant IG underscore I has been created. And it is type iSCSI with operating system VMware. We will then go back and do an edit, and you will see that the IQN that we specified is part of this I group. So now we will actually go back to the CLI and we will actually add a second IQN identifier to this I group. So we start off by typing I group and then add and then we're going to use a dash F. Now this dash F actually disables checking for conflicts on the cluster partner so we're definitely going to use a dash F here. Then we are going to specify the I group name that we just created. And then we're going to add a second identifier, which I'm going to paste in here. And then we're going to hit enter. Now if we go back to here and we do a refresh, on the system manager and go to edit, we will actually see that now we have two IQN initiators in this I group. So now the last step is we are going to map this I group to a LUN that we have specified as reliant underscore LUN underscore I. So if we go back to the CLI, we will actually now type in LUN, map, we'll type in a lowercase f again so it will not do a conflict check on the cluster partner. Then we will actually specify the full path to the LUN. This includes the volume that the LUN resides in. In this case it's reliant underscore volume. And then we will specify the LUN name which is LUN underscore I, and then we will specify which I group we want to map to this LUN. In this case, it's the one we just created, which is Reliant IG underscore I. We will go ahead and hit enter, and you can see that it was mapped to this LUN, so now we will go back to LUN management. We will click edit, and we will go to the initiator group and we can actually see that Reliant underscore I is now mapped with this checkbox. And for the LUN ID, it actually used the next available. In this case, it was zero. So now we have presented the IQNs of the VMware server to this LUN. So now that VMware can connect to this LUN. Thank you for watching.